Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever had one of those days where you just can't stop getting molested by everything in Monster Hunter World? Well, you need to buy yourself the Never Die 5000. You can take as many beatings as you want and the monster will be furious with his inability to kill you because you can just get pimp slapped all day long and come back and murder its face regardless. Now, the amazing thing about the Never Die 5000 is that even when you're flopping around like a fish out of water, you're still regening health and creating an opportunity for yourself to completely devastate the monster. Now, you'll never have to actually use potions with this build unless you're purposefully trying to die, but even then, the chances of death are relatively slim as you've got more defense than something that's got a lot of defense that I can't think of a very good pun right now but regardless this build is amazing and you guys have been asking for a defensive type build for a long time and i figured i would bring you to it in the form of this amazing build now i tried to purposefully get hit as many times as i could in this video to show you just how little damage you actually take even with defense down i'm not taking a lot of damage at all and can pretty much instantly regen all of it between all of the separate abilities that we have so it's one of these great builds when you're actually learning a fight or if you're just wanting to kind of like watch TV, play Monster Hunter while you're farming and not really have to give a crap about getting hit or healing yourself. It's just a really fun build to use when you really don't feel like paying attention to monotonous grinding. Now you'll see that while we're mounted on Devil Joe, we're going to actually completely regen all of our health without ever having to use a potion. I did this entire fight with Devil Joe, purposefully getting hit the entire time, and never had to heal once. Now some of you elitists out there might be like, Ugh, just get good bra, learn to dodge, son. No. Some people just want to get slapped around. Some people are into that thing. Maybe it turns them on. Who knows? I'm not here to judge. I'm here to provide. Now that being said, with this build, you'll be able to get pimp slapped as much as you want while continuously slapping the monster around yourself. And who doesn't love a little bit of slapping around? I can tell you Devil Joe doesn't. Look at him limp away. And I was trying to take as much damage as I could. Puss Puss, get back here. Now this set can be used with any weapon. I'm showing it off with the Switch Axe because I've already got it augmented with Health Region. And Health Region is really going to push this build over the edge into the, just the overpowered defense insanity build that it currently is. And you don't have to have Health Region, but it really makes this build a lot better. Now that being said, it can be used with any particular weapon that you want. I'm using the Hazak Demios 2. And uh, let's go ahead and go into the rest of these skills for this. Now, there's a couple of things that can be swapped around depending on the weapon. I like to take advantage of the white sharpness of this weapon. So I am using the Death Stench Heal Beta, which has two levels of handicraft. Well, let's go into the actual skills that we have here. We've got Valhazak Vitality, which allows recovery to exceed the red portion of the health gauge. So that means that we can actually regen health all the time. It's really, really nice. And we also have Defense Boost Level 7, which gives us plus 35 defense and uh, plus 3 to all elemental resistances, which is pretty freaking good. We've also got Recovery Up Level 3, which stacks with the Valhazak Vitality, as well as the Health Region. So every tick of Health Region that we get when we hit with our weapon, it's going to increase our health by 30% more. We've also got Recovery Spree Level 3, so that means that when we have that red portion of our health gauge, that actual portion of health will recover at quadruple its normal speed. We've also got Weakness Exploit Level 3, so we still maintain some of our level of damage. Handicraft Level 2, so we get the 10% damage increase from both raw damage and elemental damage on our weapon. We've got Peak Performance Level 2. Now, you can increase this to Peak Performance Level 3 in a number of different ways, but with this particular build with this weapon, I've got it at level 2 because I like the balance of it with everything else that I've got. Now, depending on your weapon, if you've got more gem slots than we have on the actual Hazak Demios, then you can socket that last level of peak performance, or you can swap out a couple different armor pieces to be able to achieve that, but it's really going to be dependent on your playstyle. Now, let's actually get into the equipment that we're using. We'll go into our decorations here. 
and we'll show off everything that we've got equipped. We've got the Sharp Jewel 2 and the Hizok Demios. Now, if you're not using a weapon that can get to the white level of sharpness, you obviously can go ahead and put this with the Peak Performance Gem, which I may do anyways, uh, but I really like the increased damage from the white level of sharpness, so I want to keep that as long as I can. So right now, I'm leaving it as it is. Now, we are using the Dragon King Eye Patch, socketed with a Tenderizer Jewel, which gives us the three levels of weakness exploit. We've got the Valhazak Male Beta, socketed with two Medicine Jewels, which gives us Recovery Speed 2 and Recovery Up 2. Then we've got the Valhazak Braces, which you can really socket out as you want, but you can see here that we've got four Defense Jewels, a Medicine Jewel, a Recovery Jewel, and a Grinder Jewel as all of the jewels that we have equipped. Now you can use this, you can put an Attack Jewel in here, or whatever you want. I would probably put Dragon uh, Jewel in here just to increase our Dragon damage on our weapon a little bit instead of the Grinder but it's really up to you and um yeah so that's about it for the jewels it's pretty straightforward we are using the defense charm three now if you really want to go crazy with defense on this you can swap out the dragon king eye patch for the guild cross circlet which would give you two levels of divine blessing now, as I mentioned before, depending on the weapon you're using, you can really change this up a lot. So with the Guild Cross Circlet equipped, we go ahead and switch to the Exploiter Charm, which gives us Weakness Exploit Level 2, and we've equipped the Jagras Hacker 2, which has two three-slot gem slots. So what we've gone ahead and done here is we've put the Flawless Jewel in there and the Tenderizer Jewel. So that actually gives us, if this was socketed out properly, I don't have more defense gems and you will require that to run it like this. Uh, I've put Steadfast in here and just to kind of take the place for the defense jewels. Uh, we'll actually put Defense Lock in here in, in replacement of the defense jewels. So you would need a total of seven defense jewels to do this. So you would put them all down here, the four down here, and then one in the Valhazak Braces or wherever else, and then two into the Guild Cross Circlet. Now this will give you technically uh, the Valhazak Vitality, seven defense boost. That's not there because I don't have the gems because I accidentally sold them all. Well, I traded them into the Melder. Uh, the Iron Skin will not be there, so you can ignore that. That's actually just supposed to be the defense. You would have the Recovery Up level three, Recovery Speed level three, Weakness Exploit level three, Peak Performance level three, and Divine Blessing level three. Now, obviously, with the Jagras Hacker, we cannot use the white level of sharpness, so I would swap out the boots. So I'm just going to show you that you do have some variety in the equipment that you can use, and you can really change it up depending on the weapon. Now, with this armor set fully augmented and upgraded, we're going to be running a natural defense of 496. Now, if you're using a weapon that increases your defense, then obviously that will be able to get a little bit higher. But once we eat some food, if you decide to go ahead and eat the defense platter for the defense up large, this will put you with the natural defense without any uh, weapon defense increases up to 511. Now you can also eat some uh, mega armor skin or regular armor skin to boost that up even more. But this is an incredibly high level of defense. Now that is all I've got for this build. I hope you all enjoyed it. We're just down here showing Poog some love because Poogie is the best. Now as I mentioned before, you can use this build with any weapon that you desire. But I highly recommend putting health augmentation on it because it will be very advantageous if you do so because it'll just really push this build over the edge to basically a build that you can kind of just not even look at the screen and just smash things around and really not have to worry about healing or getting hit. And I, I really like that because sometimes the grinding does get a little bit monotonous and you know, you just don't, you, just, you stop paying attention at a certain point in time. Maybe you want to watch TV, maybe you got somebody talking to you and you kind of just want to play while getting some other things done and this build will really help that out. Now some of you elitists out there may be like, just learn to dodge, dude. Now. It's just not always the case, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of you have been asking for a defense build. Now, this is a little bit of a, basically a reiteration of my life stealing build with a little bit more defense on top of it and some different changes. So I really love this build. I'll probably be using it with dual blades as well. It's one of my go-tos when I'm soloing because it just makes life super duper easy without really having to worry. And, you're, and for the damage that it's lacking, you're actually making up for it by not having to stop and heal and stuff like that, which can really, really increase the amount of damage you do over time and really lessen basically the, the hunt time 
so i really like the build let me know what you guys think down in the comments below what would you change what would you add what weapon are you going to use it for and feel free to join the discord in the links in the description which you can actually use to share some of your builds with me and i've got a couple builds that i've been working on from viewers that have posted in the discord and i'll be using them soon um i've got a heavy bowgun build another great sword build and some stuff like that and i'm probably going to do try and start doing a video a week where it's just uh viewer builds and i'm really looking forward to that i've just been farming up all the stuff for it. it's taken me a little bit of time with all the plans that i had already and we also have far cry 5 coming to the channel we've posted the first episode last night so please check that out if you guys feel like supporting me and some of the other content that i have i'm leaving a link or a card in the top right corner and a link in the description for the first episode of that so i hope to see you all there please check it out leave a like share it with your friends and family tie them up if you have to stockholm syndrome's a thing maybe they'll fall in love with it who knows <laughs> but anyways thank you all for your continued support we're going to be hitting 100k subscribers soon it's absolutely insane you all are truly amazing and i just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart if, and I'll see you all in the next one. Why is this guy ruining my outro, dude? I'm just trying to say thanks. God. Anyways, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps out. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.